Hey, it's uh, Eric here with Peachtree Classic Cars, my buddy Steven and his 66 F100. Take it for a drive. So let's see, the brakes were just redone. Brakes are redone. Automatic it shifts really smooth. Drives drives straight. So the gauges work. Yeah, the gauge is pretty accurate on a GPS on the phone. It's it's pretty dead on. It's really smooth running down the road. Really smooth. Messing up your tape player. Gonna see what kind of tunes you were listening to. Listening to some old Boston. Yeah, this thing, um, this thing really rides nice. This seat, uh, seat's really comfortable. Yeah, it, rides it looks like they nice. may have reupholstered it recently. Tires are brand new, rims are brand new. We'll show you all of that here in a second. but it's 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 good it's in, it's in decent shape yeah it's still got the chrome trim accent inside yeah that's a custom cab right uh yes with custom cab with the chrome yep that's a perfect spot up here Say you changed the door actuators too? Yeah, the, the, the door actuators where the handles attached to, those are brand new. Beautiful engine detail. 302. Inner fender wells look great. Firewalls rest free. of little 302 there. All right, you can go ahead and shut it off. Hood looks pretty good, actually. This hood's in pretty good shape. Really cool patina on this truck. A lot of little rust spots here and there, but I'm not seeing anything major, at least on the body. Looks like there's a little dent here. Some rust there, that's a really old dent. The uh, bumper is in original condition. Wheels, tires, hubcaps, and beauty rings are brand new. They look freaking gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Body lines look straight. Of course, you know, a few little spots here and there. Bottoms of the doors look good. Couple of tiny little rust bubbles under the, at the I've bottom. Got new door and cab corner chrome moldings on this, on this side. Yeah, those ended up, original pieces ended up missing, so brand new ones. The rest of them are original. Of course, they're a little more faded. You can see the patina on them. I love the way the patina turned out on this truck too. Beautiful. This is a short bed. Yep. Tailgate looks good. Old original bumper there too. The tail this has actually got fuel tank right here. It's, oh, on, cool. it's on the rear. So Somebody there's, moved there it. is no behind the seat tank. Nice. Even though the neck is there, it's it's just in place. I do remember this one spot with rust inside the bed, really common. Little spot right here, not a big deal. You can buy the bed re redo kits. Yeah. Redo Honestly, for what this is, if this was my truck, I wouldn't touch it. I, I like the way it is. It looks really, really cool. The patina looks good. There's a little dent here that got repaired. If it was me, I might see if I could get to the paint shop, get a little touch-up paint match here, and just fade that in. Just, just fade it in, and that's it. I, I love. Love this interior, older uh, door panels. I mean, consistent patina around. Rockers look good. Behind the seat looks really good. 
Don't see any rust back there, which is nice. Seat cover's in good shape overall. Little, little spot of paint there. One tiny little hole there. Really, really comfortable. Door bottoms are good. Yeah, bottoms of the doors are in great shape. Is the heater working? Uh, you go around to the other side. Yep. Heater coming on? Okay, and wipers? Fan works. Nice. Wipers? Uh oh. Yeah, wipers work. Nice, perfect. Okay. And lights all work, high beams work. A couple of extra uh, amber lenses yeah, in the glove box. Little things in there. Seats in great shape other than those two little spots. Yeah. Older headliner, diamond plate. Probably remodeled or restored back in the 80s with, the, with that. Rockers on this side as well look good. Bottoms of doors look good. Glass looks like it's in good shape. This windshield appears to be new. Yeah, the guy replaced. That's a brand new. Newer brand weather new, stripping. Yeah, brand new windshield. Rest of the glass is in fair condition or good. good looks like it's in pretty good condition. Windows roll up and down. A little squeaky. A little spot of rubber there. That's not uncommon. Oh, hinge pockets are great as well on both sides. Door shut really nice. Yeah. Nice. Let's take a look up underneath this truck. Couple little spots. There's one right there. A little spot up front. A couple little spots. Overall, really, really solid. This is kind of what I call like a survivor style truck. One little spot of bubble right there. And, you know, a couple of spots. But look at this. I mean, the cab corner, it's one tiny little spot. Other than that, in great, great shape. These rockers are in great shape. Frame rails. Rust free. Really, really incredible condition for its age and the fact that basically it's unrestored. Oh, aside from the engine and some of those things that have been done. Really clean frame rails. <clears throat> Inner fenders. Rest free on this side. We saw the bottom of the driver's side door. These hinge pockets as well, also in great shape. <laughs> a little bit of rest on this side. Rocker is in good shape here. See if I can get the, trying to get the camera to adjust. Floor pans appear to be original and in really good condition as well. A couple little spots. And then, under the bed. And in the back. Of course, the fuel tank's been moved to the back. Appears to be pretty clean and rust free here. Well, there you have it. Wanna, don't want to make the video too long. 1966 Ford F100 short bed. Love this color. And uh, gonna make somebody a really fun, a great shop, shop truck or farm truck, reliable little driver. I look forward to hearing from you.